Hello folks, welcome to bsptrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I'm going to show you how to do advanced data modeling in Cognos Framework Manager. The requirement over here is like this. We have a one of the dimension called promotion. A business user would like to see only those promotion <coughs> which are active. The definition of active promotion, if the promotion start date fall between current date and 13 months before, it is considered to be an active promotion. Any other promotion is considered to be inactive and not and not eligible for any kind of analysis. So I'm going to create a new query subject and I would be applying a filter on date where I'm going to write a custom defined expression, my current date minus 13 months. Let's see how to achieve this. I have graphically shown over here the name of my table is called promotion and which I marked as the active promotion and the column which I will be using for filter is called promotion begin date. It should be in between current date and 13 months before. I will show you the easy way to any kind of expression. Sometimes writing expression seems to be a daunting task. Uh, the approach I am going to tell you makes your expression writing easy. So first let's create a new query subject and this query subject I would call as an active promotion and my business user will be query only those data which are belong to active uh, promotions. I'm using data source as database. Click OK and for now I'm going to bring all the data from my promotion and subsequently I apply filter on top. I apply filter over here. So I'll take a table called promotions. Next I just bring all the data. I'm going to add a filter condition. We'll do it step by step so that it is easy for us to understand. I also show you the output of each filter condition so that we understand how to write a complex expression. This is the query subject. So let's start doing it. I'll be adding a calculated column over here step by step and show you how to construct a 30 months rolling filter. Add a computed column over here. I'll write plenty of temporary table, temporary column, call, first one I call current date and I'll be using a database specific function, my underlying data source is Oracle and um, I'll be using vendor specific function, over here there's an option called Oracle, it's my source system, first I'll show you how to retrieve system date in Cognos. So first column is going to show system date and after system date, let's see the test the data and understand how exactly your Cognos understand the same. So the last column is system date. It retrieves your current date along with the timestamp. <coughs> I need to ensure that the column which I'm using to compare should be of same type. So start date, my current date and the promotions begin date both are of same format, the date and timestamp, right? So I do not require any kind of casting. So I need to subtract current date minus 13 months. Also the start date as per the business logic, the start date starts from 12 a.m. <clears throat> My next day is considered from 12 a.m. So 13 month rolling logical operation would be my current month. The current date is 17 September 2014. If I go 13 months back it should be 17 August 2013 and date the start date, the timing would be considered as a 12 a.m. Okay. So I'll add another expression over here and go 13 months before. 13 months before. I use a function over here, vendor specific function called add months. Call add months. Add months takes two arguments, date expression and integer expression. I click on add months and the first argument is not a static date, rather it's a system defined date. So I use this date. And integer, I'll specify minus 13, 13 minutes before. Click on OK, click on OK and you can test the data over here before you proceed further. So click on, click on test sample and here's your output. You see your current date 
and 13 months before right but the only constraint I, I see over here I wanted my date to be started from 12 a.m. in the morning right so what I would do I'll further truncate this in a calculate function the beauty of adding calculation is that before you actually write a construct you would be knowing that how exactly look like had I been directly applying to filter I would not be able to know what is what so I say 13 month rolling I'll further customize this expression and add a truncate function so it is also database vendor specific function under Oracle I could see truncate function and there are two truncate function first function takes two argument one is date expression another one is string second truncate function numeric expression so I need the, the first one which takes two argument date expression and string expression right so two argument takes first one I'll take truncate first argument is a date expression and second argument I'll take I don't need any string expression because I want it to be uh, start from 12th in the morning had I wanted only month year I could have it specified as a string in this case I do not need any one of them I'll go to test a little time I should have done test there itself click on test and I could see the sample data so current month and 13 months this is my current month and 13 months I could see 13 months before is 18 August 2013 and starting from 12 a.m. this is exactly I want and current month also I would apply a truncate function and my promotion begin date should be in between both of them so I'll do little tuning in this once again I filter my expression I mean I change the expression over here I in turn apply truncate under function vendor specific function oracle I use function over here truncate first argument is date that's it I don't need another argument okay and test your data right click and test so I got the right definition of active promotions so I got current date and 13 months before now I would be using this as my filter clause I just put over here for the sake of demonstration how to write a complex expression now we would be using this expression I'll just copy and paste this expression into my notepad and I'll be using that as a where clause this is from and my two is going to be this is my two where clause true right now right click over here once again modify your expression go to filters add filter my promotion begin date promotion begin date should be in between promotion begin date should be in between it should be greater than less than equals to system date I copy the expression I just copy and paste over here the one which I used and my promotion date I could have used the in between operator as well greater than equals to my last 13 months that's it I click OK my expressions are done now you can remove this filter uh, you remove this calculation I just added them to demonstrate how to write it if you require you can keep it validate and finally we'll test the data and Excel query okay right click and test the data I'll be seeing only those promotion which fall on between current date and 13 months before I do not have any data that's fine which fall under this Kremen criteria so this way you can apply 13 months ruling the final step which I always recommend you to do this take a query and understand how Cognos interpret this expression so I'll take this query this is my query and put into my notepad and understand how it works how does S space uh, your oracle understand this copy and put into notepad so we use an expression over here called 13 months rolling I could see the where clause clearly 
you could see the where clause clearly over here the promotion begin date Oracle understand the same expression exactly in the same way promotion date the beauty of writing vendor specific functions that your vendor underlying database understand the function in the same manner right the only difference over here you see if I take a snapshot of this uh, if I take a snapshot of my expression go to edit definition look at my filter clause take a snapshot of this and compare the final output I would be able to draw the relationship very easily this is the this is what we have written in Cognos and correspondingly this is what your database Cognos passes this query to your database you find the expression absolutely identical except uh, the only difference find over here you use a promotion your sysdate truncate sysdate add months the same thing you pass over here but the sysdate is specified under under curly braces right. so this that's it for today's session uh, keep watching our more YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and and thanks for joining our session